let us analyze the concept of polygamy in Islam. Polygamy means a system whereby a person marries more than one spouse, whether husband or wife. Polygamy is of two types, polygyny and polyandry. Polygyny means a man having more than one woman as wife. And polyandry means a woman having more than one husband. In Islam, polygyny, that is man having up to four is allowed and polyandry in Islam is completely prohibited that is woman having more than one husband Islam allows limited polygyny that is marrying up to four for men coming to the main question that why why is it so that Islam allows man to marry up to four why is it so the point here to understand is the glorious Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth which has the statement the phrase that is marry only one marry only one there is no other scripture on the face of the earth which says marry only one or which has the statement marry only one when we analyze the Quran we find the permission of that limited polygyny in Surah Nisa, Surah number 4, Ayat number 3. Allah Bari Ta'ala says, Fa in khiftum Allah tuqsitu fi latama fankihu, ma tawba lakum minna nisai, masna wa thulasa wa ruba'a. Fa in khiftum Allah ta'adilu fa wahida. Marry women of your choice in twos, in threes, and in fours. But if you cannot deal justly with them, then marry only one marry only one here we need to understand that the glorious Quran it gives the upper limit to the mankind before the revelation of the glorious Quran people they can have as many number of wives as they want there was no upper limit when the glorious Quran comes it gives the upper limit to the man that he should have up to four let us analyze why there are so many reasons why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this order moreover it's a major misconception that the people have that they think that it is compulsory for a Muslim to have four wives at a time which is a wrong notion in Islam there are five do's and don'ts first is fard which is compulsory second is mustahab meaning which is encouraged third is mubah which is permitted fourth is makru that is discouraged and fifth is haram that is absolutely forbidden that is absolutely prohibited and polygyny that is marrying up to four for men it falls under the category of mubah that is permitted we Muslims we can have it's not said should have we can have women as our wives up to four firstly because it is the permission of the Creator and secondly by nature male and female they both take birth approximately the same ratio however the immunity system which exists in the women in the female child is much more stronger which can kill the germs which can fight the germs therefore we see that there are more male child deaths that we find at the very pediatric age moreover more men they die than women in the wars more men they die in accidents than women and in general the lifespan of female is much more than male moreover Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gives this 
as a solution. If you analyze throughout the world, in USA alone, there are 7.8 million females more than males. In Russia alone, there are 9 million more females than males. In UK, there are 4 million more females than males. In Germany, there are 5 million more females are there than males. And India is one such country among some countries where we have more number of males than female. Reason being the high rate of infanticide, female infanticide in our own mother country. It comes out as a pain in our own mother country. Every month, every month, 3000 fetuses are aborted every month after identifying that it's a female child. If this evil practice is stopped, then India too will be the country overpopulated by women. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives us as a solution for the whole of mankind that you can have up to four.